Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Civilization V. Now, when we left off, we saw that William controlled the next capital. Now, yes, I do know that one of you has actually sent me a very detailed message, and that was to suggest that we potentially go to war against him. And that might actually be a good idea, but... For now, I just want to take a look here. We have 143 turns remaining. I'm not entirely sure how many points he has. I'm not entirely sure which menu I need to go to to check that. But we are going to take a look over here and we'll see where we could land if we decided to attack. So let's take a look here. We could send a lot of boats to attack his coastal cities. For example, Amsterdam. We could probably attack Berlin and Hamburg as well, Constantinople and Utrecht, and Groningen as well. We could attack all of those with ships. So I'm thinking, maybe we want to do that. So we're going to need to put all of our units, or should we say all of our cities, on production of ships. We have a huge amount of infantry. And I'm thinking that, um, see, this is the problem. The reason why I did not want to go to war with William right now is because I have a feeling that if we do, then this woman right here, Isabella, is going to be attacking us. It feels to me that she would take that opportunity of us moving all of our troops out of the towns and indeed out of the territory that we have control over and decide to do quite a considerable amount of damage to us, which would be rather sad, I have to admit. So, okay, okay, let's move a small contingent, not, not a small contingent, but around 75% of our units into the ocean. And we are going to be making our way... We do have some anti-aircraft guns. Actually, they upgrade into mobile SAMs. Wow. Okay. That is actually pretty cool. They do a lot of damage. Okay, so, yeah. We're going to be moving these guys. We're going to be going to war against William. We are. It's just a matter of time. It's a matter of time, and we do, of course, have... I don't... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, here we go. Victory progress? Oh, there we go. Okay, so, yeah. We do, of course, have the problem that you need 34 delegates... To win the world leader proposal, of course. And William already controls three of the original world capitals. So, as long as he doesn't take our capital, we should be perfectly fine. And I'm actually thinking, I don't think he's ahead of us in science, but I cannot actually see that. Can we see that? Wait, where is it? Tech tree, religion overview... Wait a minute, is it the tech tree? Maybe it's the tech... No, no. That's just the technology. Of course it is. I don't believe we are behind him in that. But are we? <laughs> That's the thing. Okay. Well, there's the economic overview as well. That is actually doing a pretty reasonable amount. Okay. Well, let's just press next turn and we'll make our way over. Now, aha. Our submarine is actually quite close to Amsterdam right now. Aha. Oh. We have some cargo ships. And some fishing boats, I do believe. Okay. Well, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Okay, we're going to be putting this on alert here. And I do believe we are going to be attacking... I don't know whether it can actually attack cities, these submarines. I wouldn't have thought so. Hmm. Okay, well, whatever the case. We are going to be embarking many of our units right here. And I think we're actually going to be leaving this here, just in case someone decides to use airplanes against us. Okay. So, let's take a look here. Yes, we do have rocket artillery. Fast siege unit of the late game. Unlike other siege units, it does not need to set up prior to firing. Well, this is why you did recommend this. You did recommend this for me to take. So... It's either, wow, okay, it's either we go for a battleship or we go for the rocket artillery. I actually don't know what to go for because we have so many infantry units. I'm not entirely sure if we need rocket artillery because nearly all of his towns and cities are on the coast. So if we had a battleship, maybe that would be a good idea. 
It is very slow, though. This is also very slow. Okay. So, this requires oil, which we have a large amount of, and rocket artillery requires aluminium, which we only have one of. So, we're going to go for a battleship first off, just to make sure that we're a little bit prepared to launch an offensive against him. And we'll see where it goes from there. But we are going to start moving our units into the ocean. And we'll make our way over. I think we're probably going to make our way over to Ormus. We're going to be... Oh, yes. We killed a Spanish spy. Thank you very much. Paguini. Excellent. Paguini is an amazing man. Oh, yes. So, let's do it. Let's move. We're going to be moving over. There we go. Wow, we're actually moving very fast. i got to say, that's quite surprising. But yes, we're going to be heading over to Ormus, and we are going to be launching an offensive from there, I do believe, because we will be able to take Constantinople very, very quickly indeed, and that would give us a good footing to continue our siege against William himself. So I think that would be okay. Of course, strategy... Hmm in this case, is probably not my strongest suit, but otherwise we'd have to go all the way down to Malacca or Milan, maybe Mombasa as well, wait a minute, yeah, Mombasa or Budapest. And I think considering Constantinople is one of the capitals, I'm not entirely sure whether it counts for us to take it from him, but if we take it from him, then maybe that would prevent him from having a victory point in his favor, perhaps. I'm not entirely sure on that, because I have actually never had an AI that has gotten this powerful. So, yeah, I've actually won the game before this point, but I'm not entirely sure how that was even possible, but I suppose it was in multiplayer, so it is a little different. So, I forgive you. You are guarded still, which is a little bit worrying, I have to admit. Welcome to the information era. Excellent. Okay, so we've already reached the information era. I'm unsure if they have also reached it, but we are going to try our very best nevertheless. So, let's open the technology tree and take a look at what we are doing here. Combustion goes to combined arms, goes to computers, which gives us the great firewall, which is actually incredible. As you can see, 99.9% .9 reduction in effectiveness of enemy spies. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Okay, that's pretty impressive. But yes, we need to get... Well, no, not that. But that actually might be quite useful. But no, we want to get nanotechnology, particle physics... What? We need aluminium for this? No! That's not good. Oh my. Okay, we, we need robotics, so we're actually going to need to do that here. We need combustion pretty fast. I'm actually really worried about this because we don't have... Well, I would say that we don't have that much science, but we really need a little bit more, don't we? We need a lot more science, which is actually making me pretty worried about it. Okay, well, hmm, the only thing we can do is, I suppose, just wait and see Hubble Space Telescope. Two free great scientists. Oh yes. Oh, very nice. Two free great scientists spawning next to the city. And a great musician has spawned. How incredibly useless for us. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Well, what can you do? We need to get over there some way and we need to get to the Amazing amount of culture. No, you're not able to give us culture. That's unfortunate. Okay, we'll create a great work then. There we are. Thank you very much. And we're going to be taking our infantry over here still. Uh, I can't wait till that battleship is built. I actually can't wait until that is built. Goodness me, that wonder. Oh, we did actually gain some rocket artillery. I actually built some? Or what? Where is this thing? It's over here. Okay. I was not building that. Someone must have gifted that to us. Someone gifted that to us? I actually don't know, but... Yeah. Maybe that is the case. That would actually be pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to be heading into our allies' borders here, which is probably going to make them a little bit antsy, but... I hope that they will not see this as an act of aggression. I would like to have open borders policies with Theodora, but she is not going to give that to us, is she? If she doesn't, then this is going to stop our offensive before it even began. 
So there is that. There is that to consider. Oh. Oh no. Hello. Oh no, you're guarded. Of course, you denounced me, didn't you? Oh, that is absolutely atrocious. Except embassy. What do you want? Okay, you want that. Great. Okay. <laughs> okay, open borders, please. Please give me open borders. What do you want for this? There's no way to make this work! Okay, you're going to go down then. You are going to go down. We are going to be attacking you by the looks of things. Unacceptable. Well, hmm. let's wait until our battleship is up. And then we'll see what we can do. But really, that is quite disappointing. Wait a minute. Does... Oh! Really? I can't actually... Oh my goodness, I didn't realize that. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, wait a minute. Does Ethiopia have open borders with us? I think he already does. Yes! They are allowing open borders. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I went completely the wrong direction, but at least now we can hopefully get out of here. Ah, should have gone through Ethiopia's lands. Why did I not do that? That was really stupid of me. Okay. I see your army is amassed near my empire. If you wish to attack, then come. Don't hide in the shadows like a child. Oh, wow. We mean no harm. Our units are merely passing through the area. A likely story. It is. It is. I wasn't trying to attack you. Ah, not this time. I was thinking about it, but still. Not this time. Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's head on our units right here. Everyone's doing a pretty reasonable job, I do believe. Okay, come on, let's go through Ethiopia's borders. I hope the open borders does not expire while I am traveling through them. Really? No. I'm sorry. You... You are terrible. <laughs> we are not going to be speaking to you any further, yes. Okay, let's head on over here then. Okay, so we have a great engineer. I'm going to move him over here. Hmm. Wait a second. What is going on here? Okay, we have a rifleman that needs to be upgraded. Rocket artillery. Okay. Okay, so the great engineer does need to be commanded once again. But, oh my goodness, there are so many infantry units. Wow. Okay, so here we go. Let's move him in here. Oh, I still cannot because we have workers in there, I suppose. Okay, let's move those out. And then let's move this guy in. There we go. And now we can fast forward. Oh, yes. Hubble Space Telescope. Thank you very much for the two great scientists. Oh, yes, I know. We uh, we mean no harm. And I only hope that is indeed the case. Ah, thank you very much. Yes, he's being a little bit more civil. Oh, no. William has completed the Manhattan Project. That means he has access to nukes. That's not good. Okay, let's hope he doesn't nuke us while we're on our way. That's all I can ask for. That is all I can ask for. Okay, so let's put these guys back on automated. We'll upgrade these fellows. Goodness me, I can't believe we still had riflemen. And I think... Yeah, battleship. Another battleship right there. And our rocket artillery will now make its way over as well. Goodness me. Okay. Oh, we have Plato. Excellent. Okay, so we're not going to be using any of these great scientists just yet, because why would you? With four turns remaining on combustion. Pretty pointless. And, yeah, there we are. Okay. Ah, so, yes, things are going... pretty badly. <laughs> are they? No, I'm not entirely sure right now. I think they're actually going quite well. But, yes, we have not attacked him just yet, so once we attack him, then we will know. I'm not entirely sure what his military strength is like. Maybe we could actually take a look at that. Military overview. Oh, this is our military overview. We can't actually see the enemy's military overview, so that is a little bit unfortunate, isn't it? Ah. Okay, so it's finished the battleship. And I suppose we could go for another one? Is it even worth it? Yeah, I think it is. I think it is worth it. Why not? And we'll go for... Land units. And we'll go for... 
movement speed, and then we'll be making our way over. Whoa, that thing moves very, very fast. I like it. Okay. Now we do have some great war infantry. We can level those up, and then we can start to move our rocket infantry once again. Goodness me. Okay, this does require a lot of micromanagement to actually do the military. Oh, no, Ethiopia. Oh, yes, Ethiopia has denounced the Netherlands. Great. Okay, so that's exactly what we want to see right there. He's being much more supportive. Oh, no. Okay, wait a minute. Let's move out there, move out here. Okay, now this is... Wait a minute. Do we have open borders? No, we don't have open borders with the Netherlands. I thought not, but it just seemed as though I could actually move into his territory without any difficulties. But yes, thankfully enough, we are still in the same predicament. Okay, so let's just put these guys on alert. Our battleship will continue to move. Now, this is the only issue I'm having right here. I have a feeling that we're not going to be able to get past. Are we? Maybe. Maybe our battleship will have enough movement points to be able to get through. Yes, let us work together. Thank you very much, Haile Selassie. Oh, yes. Theodora has entered the modern era. Wow, you are very far behind. That is unfortunate for you. Okay, so let's move on to his borders. He's going to see this. He's going to see this, and he's going to know what we're doing. So, I don't know. Probably should have left them a little bit further away, but I feel like I'm a little bit in trouble here. If we don't declare war on him right now, he's going to get his units over there and he's going to shoot all of our ships down before we even get there. So there is that to worry about. No! What are they doing? These units are blocking us right... That's us! That's our... <laughs> That's our cargo ship. Ah, my goodness. Okay, we're going to have to wait. Okay... Sure, why not? We are friendly with you, so why not? Let's do it. Ideology adopted. Combustion is now complete. Excellent. And we can now head on a little bit further here. Okay. Put all these guys on alert. What is the button for that? Oh, that's A. Okay, great. So let's just put all these guys on alert. Thank you very much. Now we can move this here. And we can hopefully move over there. We can't? Why not? Because we're moving through their borders, I suppose. And that's the reason. They, yeah, they don't want us moving through their borders no matter what. So, okay. Our battleship's going to have difficulties getting over there, which is rather difficult. So what should I get instead? Hmm. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, we're going to get research for now. I don't believe that battleship's going to be very useful. Or is it? Okay, so for this, we have no uranium. And that is a nuclear plant, and we already have... What is it? We already have a solar plant, so yeah, that's... Oh, no, we don't. Ecology. Let's go for that. Thank you very much. Yes, we want to do that. And then let's speak to our great scientist, Plato. Thank you very much for making this very quick for us. There we go. And now this guy is also going to be selecting the same things. Okay, there we go. Thank you. And we'll move this guy over there as well. Okay, so I'm going to try and speak to Theodora again. And let's ask for open borders. No way to make this work, really. How about I give you all these things? There we go! <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. I completely destroyed our happiness right there, but I felt it was somewhat worth it. So, we can go through now? Yep, we can go through. Oh yeah, there we go. Thank you very much. I did give her a huge amount. Warm salutations, wise leader. I'm surprised, or shall we say, I'm pleased to see you also have chosen to follow the path of freedom. The free world will be stronger with one more nation to help us all fight against oppression. And the Netherlands have denounced Byzantium. Okay. Well, we have 12 delegates. Oh, yeah. World leader. Should I propose that Haile Selassie becomes the world leader? No. 
We're going to be voting for ourselves, but it really makes no difference whatsoever because no one has access to 34 unless everyone agreed to it, and why would they? So, yeah, we're just going to be committing that. Nothing I can do about that, really. And we're going to be heading on over here. Rocket artillery is making its way over as well. We have a huge amount of units right here. I have a feeling, however, that they're all going to get absolutely destroyed by Constantinople's defenses. It appears as though that might be the case. Oh, Alexandre Dumas. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to be getting another social policy by the looks of things right here. And we're also going to be trying to... <gasps> yes. That's all I can say. Yes. Recycling center. I want that. That is very nice indeed. So, let's see here. Reduces population loss from nuclear attack. Provides a free broadcast city. Oh, it gives us happiness. We get a bazooka. Atomic era ranged unit that must be adjacent to an enemy to strike. Okay, I'm going to go for telecommunications just so I can use my Francis Bacon... <laughs> and improve that speed of the technology incredibly. So, we have a proposal. And we are going to be... Let's see. What are we going to do here? International Space Station Wonder appears in capital for number one. Great scientist... What? Yes? Yep, let's do it. We want that. We want that. That is a scientific thing. If ever I saw it, let's do it. Why not? Okay. That sounds like a good plan to me. Okay. So that's good. We're getting our units around. Everyone is going in a pretty nice pattern right here. Ah, open borders. Yes, thank you very much. I would like some more open borders. Thank you. Almost is in awe of you. Excellent. That's what I like to see. Okay, and let's put these guys here, and then we'll put them on alert once again. Okay, so, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. We're going to need to move around here, and then we'll put this guy on alert as well. And now, this is where we get some really cool things. Really, oh, resting point for influence with all city-states has increased by 20. Gold gifts to city-states produce 25% more influence. Yes, that's what we want. Great. Okay, so let us still go to the same place with our cargo ships. And I do believe we are going to be moving this over here as well. Okay. What? Oh my goodness. Oh great, now the vermin are breeding. Now I have to deal with both you and Ethiopia. I'll have to teach them a lesson. Very well. Spain has denounced Ethiopia. Really? Why? He's such a nice guy. Oh my goodness, he's not really doing anything too bad, is he? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, whatever the case, let us once again level up our battleship and we'll be making our way over here. Recycling center, thank you very much. Thank goodness they gave you a way to get aluminium if you didn't have something in your territory. Otherwise, we would have been absolutely done if Haile Selassie was not willing to trade us some aluminium. So there is that to consider as well. He may have been willing, so you never know. And I do believe I will be ending this episode of here. So next time on Civilization 5, there it is. Telecommunications has been complete. And we are going to be selecting... Gain one additional delegate in the World Congress for every spy as a diplomat in another civilization's capital. That actually sounds really good. But... I feel like we probably need to get combined arms to lead to computers first, so let's go with that. And yeah, we're going to be completing combined arms. We're going to be getting our battleships into position. Isabella has only now just entered the Atomic Era. However, I am a little bit worried about it because, of course, she is right next to us and she is probably going to be using nukes against us at some point. I probably want to build these bomb shelters. Let's do that. <laughs> okay, so yes, without further ado, I will be ending this episode of here once I click the next turn button. And we are no longer friends with Budapest. Huh, that's a little bit unfortunate, but nevertheless, yes, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.